Hi guys, welcome back to Flora Fun and Food. My name is Lauren and today we're gonna use this abundance of onion tops I have to make onion top pesto. Now, I don't really like regular pesto made with basil and pine nuts. I love basil, so I think it's the pine nuts that I don't like. So Becky from Acre Homestead made this with walnuts, so I'm gonna use her recipe and try it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it is so good. Let's go. Oh, obviously I had to run out to the garden to go ahead and just chop some of these onion tops down. Um, they will regrow, so you can chop them all season. I just hadn't used mine yet. They taste just like a scallion or a green onion. So easy peasy. All right, there we go. Okay, the first step is to get all of the brown pieces out and snip off any brown tips that it might have. So I'm just kind of pulling off any dried tips here, just because it won't be a very nice texture. All right, now I'm gonna wash these real quick. Okay, to a dry pan, we're gonna add one cup of walnuts, just to get those toasting. Then we're going to just roughly cut up one and a half cups of onion tops, just so we can kind of measure it better and get it into our food processor. So we'll get these just slightly toasted, try not to burn them, and then we'll go ahead and pour them into our food processor. All right, so a cup and a half of our onion tops. All right, and we need another cup and a half to make three cups. That's a total of three cups now of our onion tops. Up next, we need a cup and a half of Parmesan. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I wish I had actual lemons because you are supposed to put um, the zest in as well. But we'll just make do. And then finally, I need a cup and a half of olive oil. but we're gonna add that in slowly. So I'm gonna do just a little bit to start with. Get our lid on. And let it go. So now I'm gonna pour olive oil in a little at a time until we get the right consistency. Go ahead and use it all. And let's scrape the sides. This looks so creamy and delicious. Make sure there aren't any big chunks of walnut or onion. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, it definitely needs about a teaspoon of salt and about a tablespoon of pepper. And then we'll give it a final mix. And that is our onion top pesto made with toasted walnuts. All right, let's make some pasta to try this. All right, we're gonna get a pot of water boiling on the stove with some chicken stock, chicken bouillon, I should say. While my pasta water heats up, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add about two big tablespoons of minced garlic to our pesto, just because I think it needs a little something else. All right, our water is boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and add our pasta. I'm using rigatoni. All right, our pasta is almost done, and for the last minute or so, I'm gonna add in a cup of cherry tomatoes from my garden that I need to use up. So we're just gonna kind of cook these for a couple minutes, but I don't really wanna smash them too bad. So we'll just kind of let them boil. Cause I would rather taste the pesto for this recipe than tomatoes, but I do love tomatoes. All right, and we're gonna add some of our pesto here and let it cook out just a little bit cause it does have raw garlic in it. I'm probably gonna do about a half a cup 
Let's let that heat up for a second. We can always add more. And then we're gonna add our pasta and tomatoes back in. Carefully mix everything together. This smells so good. And there we have it, onion top pesto pasta. Lunch is ready. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and head over to my channel to subscribe for more content like this. And I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks guys, bye.